Hey guys, I'm Leon and welcome back to another video and today I am back. Hello, hello, long time no see indeed. So it's been a while, the reason for that is uh, my headphones just died basically and since that's something I used to record voiceovers with, it just did not work. So uh, now I still don't have my um, great microphone back if you can't already tell by the difference in the quality. I'm actually using my laptop's microphone to record this voiceover, so you, so it's just like the best quality. Uh, but that's the only option I have right now. Now I did get my replacements. Uh, I now have the Logitech G 430s, uh, but the problem there is the microphone on them is not good for voiceovers. Voiceovers. It's good for like Skype calling and like chatting on Discord and stuff, but. For doing high quality voiceovers, it's not it's not quite there. So instead, I am looking to, uh, into buying a actual microphone in the future, so I don't have to rely on headphones anymore because that was just a big mistake to rely on your headphones, and then when they die, you don't have a microphone. So that's just not good at all. So I will hopefully stop relying on this microphone sh uh, soon. Uh, probably next three to four weeks so three weeks max uh, until I get a new microphone so that's gonna be great I'm hoping to get it as soon as possible so I can finally get back into high quality recordings because this is just not gonna work for much longer and I didn't want to be off YouTube for three to four weeks because um, just because of my microphone so I was like nope Let's just do, uh, let's just roll back a little bit. I think that my I tested the microphone on my laptop. It seems pretty okay. It's not like the top of the line thing, but it still works. So you can still hear me. You can still uh, hear what I say. So that's all that really matters. And let's move on. So uh, today I'm back building or renovating an apartment rather, because you can't build those in, in city living. Uh, so I'm here renovating the Uptown apartment. This is one of the uh, apartments in the Uptown district of the San Mai Shuno. This is the brand new world that comes with Sims 4 City Living. So that's pretty nice. And uh, if you were waiting for me to say uh, I recommend you should get this back, I'm not gonna recommend it. So it's up to you to decide whether you want it or not. Uh, now for this, the reason for that is it's... Uh, Right now, I had so many letdowns with this expansion pack, and uh, I thought I really want to share some with you right now, so I thought it would be nice to give some sort of a mini review while I'm doing this speed build, because there's really not much to talk about the whole uh, apartment here. As you can see, I'm just putting down items, that's pretty much it. That's normally what I do every single time, so let's just try to move on. now. Uh, the reason for that now, uh, there were a lot of things. There were things that are great. Uh, we have this brand new world. It looks beautiful, but city living, by my opinion, just it's just unfinished. And it could have been way better if the team just spent a little more time trying to fix the issues and trying to add more content in. And there are some things that are just so obvious that they just need. They just need to be there, but they're not, and it's very frustrating, and it, some, it often pisses me off, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, such as, like, elevators, these are the worst. Uh, you, you still don't have them. So, it's just an object, you don't, it's not even animated, it's worthless. Uh, it teleports your sims, they just dissolve from the lobby at the top here, and they just appear in the, like, at the front of the building downstairs. Which is very, like, I, I, I sw I, just no. So, is it really that hard to animate uh, Sims going into the elevator and out? I, I could animate this, that thing, so I don't think it's that big of a problem uh, to animate it. But EA was too lazy, of course, so uh, they decided not to do that. So that's great. Another thing, uh, apartments are just... As much as I love that apartments are back and I'm happy you can finally live in apartments, they got boring after a while and they're just far more limited than apartments in Sims 2 and Sims 3 combined. 
So Sims 2 by far had the best apartments. Uh, you can build them from the ground up, you can build your entire complex from the ground up, which was just a huge plus. Uh, not only that, but in Sims 4, apartments are not only locked to a specific world, you can only have them in San Mishuno, but it's also locked uh, on the specific lot. So don't think about building it on a different lot in San Mishuno that doesn't have a building because you can't do that. Now, one of the biggest letdowns so far happens to be with this apartment or, or apartments in general. Uh, right before I was finished with this apartment, actually when I was finished with this apartment, of course the first thing I do is I want to share the creation I did. <sighs> you can't do that. <laughs> so, you can't share apartments, you can't build them from the ground up, you're only limited to that space you have available. You can renovate them, you can build, a, you can build and edit walls inside of that area, but you can't go beyond that. It's just limited. It's that's the max you can get, and uh, that's something that really pissed me off right before recording this voiceover. And I just have to say this, EA, I, I this is by far the. Uh, I, I really don't want to say this because I do enjoy some things in the expansion pack, but but by far this is the worst expansion pack they made. So I'm just gonna say this. I don't care if I'm gonna get hate for this or not. Please don't. <laughs> uh, but I just do not like this expansion pack at all. It's just very limiting. When they announced, though, when they announced this expansion pack, it was very promising. I was looking forward to it like a ton, and it was great. But after it got out and I saw all the limitations, it was just very hard to think about positive things because they're more negative than positive things. So. The world, though, the world is great. Uh, I really love it. But the thing is, you're, all that thing you see around you, all that skyline, that city skyline you see around you, you only have like one eighth of it that, that's actually playable. So, uh, yeah, but the world looks beautiful. I will give them props on that. They, I really see that they tried hard in this world and it looks beautiful. But the functionality, uh, it's just not something that's good. It's just not. I'm sorry EA, but this is a... It's just not good. And not only that, but also the gameplay, the brand new gameplay you were supposed to get. The reason why I'm saying is something you were supposed to get is because I... I just feel like the gameplay that's that you you have so you have apartments you can live in them and you can live in them and stuff like that but and you have the brand new festivals and such but I feel like that's just a facade of what's already in the game so it's just a skin for the gameplay that's already been in the game since I don't know since ever and there's really nothing new so if you're buying this expansion pack for the gameplay because you think there's so much you can do, uh, you're gonna be disappointed because there is not a lot to do. So by far right now, um, the most I'm actually right now, I I'm kind of done with expansion packs, at least expansion packs like these. Uh, I'm looking more forward to game packs because by far right now, all game packs have been just great. The game packs, I think it 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 had it has a great balance of both features, gameplay, and items, and it only costs like twenty bucks. And uh, considering that, and this this expansion pack just feels like a game pack to me. It doesn't feel like something that should. It doesn't feel like a forty dollar expansion pack. And I just don't like saying this because it's my favorite. It's my favorite game. Sims Four is my most favorite game. Or The Sims as as a franchise, because uh, the best Sims game in the franchise would have to be Sims 2, uh, for me at least. Uh, but yeah, I really don't like saying the fact that this game is not good, because there are a lot of things that I like about it, but there are far more things that I don't. And as much as I love The Sims, and as much as I'm gonna continue playing it more and more, and I really love the game, it's just not there to... A, it's just not done. I feel like EA should spend a little bit more time trying to make expansion packs because 
uh, they're just not working. So I was very, I was looking forward to this expansion pack a lot, and then when I finally got it, it was released. I got my hands on it, and uh, the first thing already that was like pissing me off were, were the apartments. I, I, I'm sorry, but apartments are just not working for me. Not the way they work. Not only that, but you also have loading screens, so you can move up to uh, you can move quite a decent amount of households into one building, which is nice. So you can visit neighbors. But hold on, if you want to visit those neighbors, yeah, you have to go through a loading screen. So uh, that's something that's something that pisses me off the most. The loading screens, I just why why? I guess Sims 3 was too advanced. Like uh, Sims 3 went too far into the future, and then we have to like take a step back to like Sims 2 days back in 2004 where we had loading screens for every god lot and this is the first time I swear it in the video and this is this tells you how much I'm very upset about this brand new expansion pack and I have to remember to bleed that so let's uh, try to screenshot that <laughs> so I can know so I know where this thing is uh, but anyway, this is the apartment. I really love the way the apartment looks. I now, unfortunately, you cannot download it, which is something that I wanted to do. Obviously, I want to build the apartments and I want to share them to the gallery so people can download it. You can do that. So unfortunately, this item will not be available for download. Instead, you can just watch the speed build and you can also get screenshots on Google Drive, as that normally comes together with my builds. But the gallery link, yeah, forget about it. It's not happening anytime soon. Uh, so uh, that's a very big um, letdown for me. Uh, now here, uh, I love this bedroom. It's a master bedroom, as you can see. One thing that I really love about this apartment is downstairs, the entrance is very minimalistic when it comes to colors. It's very like uh, grayscale at uh, the first floor. And then you come up and you have a little bit more colors. It's a bit, a bit more uh, lively. Upstairs you have much more wood uh, and like just up, uh, rooms in general have uh, like a lot of reds in them. So that's kind of what I went for. So when you walk downstairs it's very nice and chill and relaxing. You come upstairs and you have really nice happy colors for the bedrooms and stuff. Uh, to mix it up a little bit because normally it would be when you walk into your bedroom you would be like feel like relaxed and no colors and such. That would be normally uh, a way to go, but I wanted to mix it up this time, so that's why I chose this uh, path instead. Now, one thing, one really cool thing I love about this bedroom is the waterfalls. I I couldn't resist it. I added these waterfalls. I saw they look fan freaking tastic, and I was like, let's just add them in. <laughs> let's add them in. And you'll notice they look really nice. Not only that, but since windows are behind them, you can also see the whole city skyline behind these waterfalls, which is freaking cool. Uh, it looks really nice in screenshots, especially in gameplay now. Unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna keep mentioning this, you cannot download it, so that's a little bit of a problem, but uh, until the, I'm not, I really don't get it, why apartments cannot be shared. It's, 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 it's an obvious answer, yeah, it was lazy. So, eh, you can, though you can still share penthouses, because if I knew that before, uh, I probably would have built a penthouse and, and not the apartment, because I have a feeling this is not gonna work. Because I have a feeling this is my first and last apartment renovation that I'm gonna do in Sims 4. Because it doesn't make sense to me to make an apartment that I cannot share on the gallery. <sighs> Just no. <laughs> Uh, so here there is a little popping. So uh, there is also a master. Now one thing I could do though, I just remembered that uh, when I selected a room, I could upload uh, bits and pieces of this apartment. So I could upload each room separately, and then if you want, you can kind of put it back together into the game. Uh, but let me know if you guys want that, because. I don't want that thing to scram. Uh, I don't want that thing to spam on my gallery. Um, so if you want, 
to get like room by room and you want to add it in, let me know because uh, that's the only way you can actually get this apartment because it's not gonna work any other way. That's the only way it's gonna work. So there you go. Uh, this is the office area upstairs. Now one thing I love so much about the, the brand new items, this is a very positive thing. I love the brand new items that come with Sims 4 City Living. I haven't tried out Cass yet, uh, mainly because I don't really spend much time in Cass, I just want to get that done, so I wasn't, I don't think I did go into create a sim uh, ever since, uh, like, I made my sim, basically, so, my sim self, and uh, here, this is the, like I said, main office area, and here I will also be adding in a bookshelf at the back and at the side. Uh, so I really love it because uh, the reason why I love this color scheme that I went with, uh, it's very, uh, it's mostly grayscale, but then you get these nice uh, brown colors, nice browns, um, they're more like brown to beige colors, and they just look really, really nice together, and... Uh, I don't know, it's just something I love about it, I have the, to have like a white apartment and then like have like wood, like as accent, as an accent color, like browns or even just like wood as a material itself to have an accent color, it just looks really really nice. If I could design my own house right now, guess what it would be made out of? All white and brown accents, wood accents, that's it, that's it. That looks really, really sweet and very clean and bright and very modern, so. That's normally my style, if you haven't already figured out. I normally do grayscale apartments. Uh, now, grayscale, I mean, I mostly do white things. Just because I'm a big fan of white. Uh, it Mainly because it matches with everything, so you can't get, you can't go wrong with white anywhere. So, whenever, wherever you put white, it's gonna work. <laughs> so, because it's not a color that uh, sometimes fits with another, sometimes it doesn't with another, and so on. It just works, <laughs> basically. Now, I love these railings that are next to... Or these uh, wood color, wooden color, uh, colors, oh my god. Wooden columns that are next to the staircase, I just love them. I think they have a really nice level of detail, and they also do divide the area the staircase area and the main area at the first floor, which I think looks really, really sweet. And also I expanded them up, so as you can see, instead of having all fence at the top, I added these really nice uh, wooden railings. I, they look really, really sweet. Uh, I don't know, I just love them. And I was like, this is a very cool idea, let's add them in. And that's what I did. Uh, here, this is the second floor, this is a sitting area where you, can, where you can come up and sit and also you can have a beautiful view of a building that's right next to you, which... Uh, if it is accessible, you have to go through a loading screen, so... Yeah, there you go. Okay, I think my angry review is over. <laughs> I'm gonna stop with the review. Uh, so yeah, that was a quick review of Sims 4 City Living, my opinions on it. It's unfinished. and. Just like Sims Community said, simscommunity.info, uh, City Living is an unfinished masterpiece, and it could be a masterpiece if they just spent more time on it. If they just spent a little bit more time with apartments and the whole uh, building system, it, it would have been so much better. But unfortunately, it's EA, so heh, it's not gonna work. And now, this is time for a grand reveal. This is my most favorite view. This thing, you walk over and you just see this beautiful city skyline at night. It is fan freaking tastic. This is the master bedroom again, having so much view of the thing, the city. Thank you very much guys for watching. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it. And don't forget to leave me a comment below telling me what you think about this video and The Sims 4 City Living. I'll see you guys next time and until then, I'm Leon and happy simming.